What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Back with my segment, Boxing the Ego's First Look. It's a sneak preview, a tell of the tape. We go over some vitals. I give them some of my thoughts on upcoming fights. Now let's talk about Gabriel Rosado versus Josh Clotty. This is an interesting card. Now check out my first look, Bryant Bye Bye Jennings versus Luis King Kong Ortiz. This will be on the same card as part of a HBO quadruple header, so definitely a great stack card. Great night of boxing. Make sure you check out that first first look. And then, as far as Gabe Rosado versus Josh Clotty, this is an interesting fight. I think both fighters are in a position where they want to look good. They want, especially Gabe Rosado, he's he's definitely a warrior. He's been in some tough fights. He's always showed heart, always given his best. But he's been on the losing side for whatever reason. Some people argue he beat Jay Leon Love. It was later ruled a no contest. His fight with Peter Quillen was unfortunately stopped because of scar tissue and, and a nasty cut that opened up right when it looked like he was getting his second win. Without a doubt, the man is a warrior, but he needs to get a win. He just uh, last fought David Lemieux. He was stopped in that particular fight. So he, he needs to get back on the winning side of things. And same thing with Josh Clotty. Josh Clotty was a guy that showed a lot of promise. He looked very tough, gave uh, Miguel Cotto, who's a first-round Hall of Famer, a hell of a fight. A lot of people argue that Josh Clotty beat Miguel Cotto. It wasn't awarded the decision, but it got a little bit rocky when he fought Pacquiao. He came out dancing, and he really put up a brick. He put up a dud of a performance, didn't really throw many punches, was really turtle shell cloudy, very defensive. And then after that time, and that was at the Dallas Cowboys Stadium, AT&T Stadium, and after that dud of a performance, he kind of took time away from the sport, disappeared for a while, and no one heard. He did come back, moved up in weight. He came back and uh, destroyed Anthony Mundine, and we he's been inactive. We haven't really seen too much of Josh Clotty, but we'll definitely see how he looks against a warrior and someone who's always a formidable game foe. And let's take a look at the tail of the tape. Now, Gabe Rosado, not much of an amateur background. He even goes on record stating at one point he was boxing. That wasn't his bread and butter. He was also working at Home Depot. So, you know what I mean? A guy who started from the bottom, had to learn on the job, had to support himself, his family, while working two jobs, trying to train for a boxer and working at Home Depot. But things have gotten better for Gabe Rosado. He became a BKB champion for a time period. He's in the new movie Creed, and he has a record of 21 with nine losses, 21 and nine. Now, you look at Josh Clotty. Josh Clotty has a record of 39 and four. People he lost to were great names, guys like Cotto, Pacquiao, etc. So the records, they both have some losses. That's why this fight is going to be a pivotal. They're looking to get back in the mix of things with the top names, the elite level names, maybe even a title shot. So we'll see how they look in this particular performance. Age, very close. Gabe Rosado is 36. Josh Claudia is two years older at age 38. Now this is an interesting statistic. Gabe Rosado is a bit taller than Josh Claudia at five foot 11 and a half inches. He's even fought at 160, keep in mind, against guys like Gabe Rosado, Peter Quillen, and Josh Clotty is five foot eight, so the smaller fighter. Now, for those asking, this fight is taking place at a catch weight. As I mentioned, Gabe Rosado did move up to middleweight. He's also fought at 154 before, but most recently he's been fighting, when he fought David Lemieux, he fought at 160. Josh Clotty was fighting at 154 when he came back, so they agreed to meet kind of in the middle, and this will be taking place at a catch weight of 158. Now, the reach is, is pretty close. Josh Claudia has a 70-inch reach to Gabe Rosado's 71-and-a-half-inch reach. Let me know what you guys think of the fight. Who wins this? This is a weird mesh of styles, if you will. Like, you look at Gabe Rosado's style, you look at Josh Claudia's style. So I'm really anxious to see what this fight is going to look like, especially at a catch weight of 158. I'm not really sure who that benefits. Josh Claudia looks pretty big. Gabe Rosado, again, has fought at middleweight, so he can definitely um, make the weight no problem. Usually stays in shape. You guys let me know how does this fight play out. Drop all that in the comment section. Make sure you like my video. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video, it's Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.